Hello and welcome to episode 41 of Youth Squad Legends Series 6 with Burton Albion. Before we get into the games today, let's do a squad report. We've got Mateusz Janssen, overall of 71. William Johansson, overall of 75, gone up by 1. Matt Pennington, overall of 72, gone up by 1. Cesar Enrique Fernazzi, overall of 69, gone up by 2. Jamie Moore Taylor, overall of 76, gone up by 1. Thomas Mazuch, overall of 69, gone up by 1. Alexander Rosenberg, overall of 82. Kadia Ogun Jimmy, overall of 75. Armin Gui, overall of 75, gone up by 2. Frank Matip, overall of 78, gone up by 1. Fabian Eicher, overall of 77. George Gordon, overall of 66, gone up by 1. Ben Reynolds, overall of 65, gone up by 1. Dan Dropper, overall of 56, gone up by 1. Turgut Moe, overall of 62, gone up by 1. Manuel Lapar, overall of 71, gone up by 1. Michael Cueto, overall of 69. Shuttleworth, overall of 62, gone up by 1. Juan Vitti, overall of 82. Ibars Nukan, overall of 72, gone up by 1. Nicola Lili, overall of 67, gone up by 1. Pablo Vazquez, overall of 68, gone up by 1. Eric Malongo, overall of 63. Jurgic Bartley, overall of 69, gone up by 1. Ronnie Ondan, overall of 66. Rhys Abbott, overall of 72, gone up by 1. Jan Simic, overall of 64, gone up by 1. Ben James, overall of 63. Ben Ilassanmi, overall of 65. Eric Holter, overall of 66. Simon Van Arnhol, overall of 71. Heinz and Colio Aquino Pintos, overall of 66, gone up by 1. And finally, Godzia Ait Benadur, overall of 62. The first game this episode is a big one at home against Manchester United. <laughs> they brought Welbeck back. <laughs> He's got the same squad number and everything. Fabian Eicher against Luke Shaw. The cross is good and Matip has put it onto the post. I can feel the change in intensity. These guys pass it around a lot quicker. Here is Danny Welbeck. I think Janssen and Pennington had that covered between them. Oh, good pass. Another Danny Welbeck chance. Johnson saves it and Fanazi deals with the rebound. Oh, Rooney wins the header. We really need to be doing better than this. 22 minutes gone and we've only had the one chance. The one opportunity to get out of our own half. Oh, oh it's going to go in. The defence are trying their best, but it's just too much pressure. Ah! No, oh, Jamie Moore Taylor misses the slide challenge, and it is Juan Mata who makes it 2 0 to Manchester United. It's a cool finish by the Spaniard. Here is Fabian Icott. Now we can bring it upfield. Still Fabian Icott. And still, the Burton Bullet could be going all the way here. It's stopped by good sensations. Now Matip and tipped over the bar. Robin Van Persie is on for Danny Welbeck. So it looks like things are going to get even worse for us. Oh, sublime finish. Wayne Rooney makes it 3-0. And that goal basically shows the gap that we need to close down if we are to challenge for the Premier League title. It can't be four, surely. It nearly was. Mata scrapes the post on the way out for a goal kick. No, oh. they just turn too quick for my defence. And Herrera makes it 4-0. Rosenberg finally gets a chance. There you go. Alexander Rosenberg just beat some good sensations. Yes. Something to take from this horrible match. Manchester United has been way better than Burton. But there you go. A long shot from Alexander Rosenberg. It's a stunning strike as well. Classic Rosenberg. Here we go again. Oh. An absolute killer assist by Ander Herrera. It's now 5-1. Look at that start. Jonsson saved much less than David De Gea. Or at least we've had the shots. It's full time and it's a huge lesson from a big club. Burton Albion 1, Manchester United 5. The group tables for the Euro League have been drawn. We're against Dynamo Moscow, Trabzon Sport and FC Thun. And the first game in the Euro League is away against the Swiss team FC Thun. 
Second time in this competition, ready to go all the way. Well, that certainly wasn't expected. Good finish into the bottom corner. Toon take the lead. Could potentially be another slow start in Europe here. Ronnie Ondon's upfield. He's played it through to Cueto. A chance for 1-1. And indeed it is. It's been a long time since we've seen a Michael Cueto goal. Yes. Abbott's nicked it away from the defender. A first goal for him perhaps. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And dispossessed. That's another goal for Toon. They retake the lead. And it's poor defending on Burns half. Two chances, two goals for FC Toon. Frank Matip trying the chip. Oh, it's the crossbar. This is going to be the last attack. It's Shuttleworth to Matip and blocked again. Full time and Toon surprise Burton. It finishes 2-1 to the home side. Oh yeah, of course, I sold Joe Smith to Reading. So it'll be interesting to see if he plays the next game. Look how massive he is. He's a man mountain. It's the third game of the episode and we're seriously looking for a win. Reading against Burton Albion. I want to know who that big dude is. Number 32. Look out for him on the team sheet. Number 32. Number 32. He is a centre-back and he's called Diamande. YSL old boy Smith doesn't even make the bench. There's the Burton Albion 11. Nukens at right back and Simic is playing holding midfielder ahead of the tired Mazuch. Pennington! That challenge looks a bit dodgy from Fanazi, and indeed it is. It's a penalty to Reading. Early chance for Reading to go into the lead here. Fernando against Jonsson, and he's hit the crossbar. Frank Matip. Oh my god, Diamande. I'm scared. I'm actually scared. Jamie Moore Taylor, 40 yards out. Oh, what a save. That is excellent keeping. Diamande. He needs to join forces with Pennington. Pennington. Well, that had nil-nil written all over it. It was Pennington against Diamande. The immovable object against the unstoppable force. Right, let's see if he is a regen. He is a regen. He's 21 years old. He is 6 foot 7. Even better news, his contract is expiring in 10 months' time. I'm going to scout him, see what his overall is. If it comes back good, then we really do have a decent chance of signing this guy up in January. Final game of the episode. League Cup third round. Burton Albion against Hull City. Shuttleworth. Yes. Good start to the game. A promising Shuttleworth through ball. Found Armangui. Cueto to the left to Fabian Eicher. If he holds off the marker, we're in here. Fabian Eicher agonisingly wide. Half time goes in this one. Still goalless. We are knocking on the door though. It looks like we have the ascendancy. There's going to be a triple substitution here. Rosenberg, Lepar and Matip coming on. 20 minutes to stop the game going into extra time. I wonder why we can't get through. They're playing five at the back. This might be a job for a certain Swede. Oh, Fabian Eicher intercepts. Come on, lad. Fabian Eicher, oh, good save. There's the 90 minutes gone. Both keepers have done very well today. And it might be the goalkeepers that decide this match if it goes to penalties. I don't like the look of this. But Jonsson did. Good commanding of his area. Offside. He is offside. Jonsson was beaten. But the reason why he was beaten is because he had an unfair advantage. We remain at 0-0. It's full time in extra time. This one is going to penalties. Jamie Moore Taylor very much in the green that penalty and in. 1 0. Aluko against Jonsson. Straight down the middle. Very good penalty. Frank Matip. Not nervous at all. He is going left as well. 2 1. To Horst against Jonsson. Way. He tried the chip and got it all wrong. Reynolds. Wasn't good in the game, but slots home this penalty. Jake Livermore. Oh, he's got it all wrong as well. 
And guess who it is to win the tie? Alexander Rosenberg going right. Easily done. We progress in the Capital One Cup. Lads, the Swedish national team want me as manager. There couldn't be a better end to this episode. I am going to accept. Adam Pond is now the Swedish manager. This ends another episode of You Squad Legends. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give the video a like. And I will see you next time.